Ooh. I wonder what this could be. I see clouds and the sun. And that's some pretty swell music right there. Oh. Looks like it's panning down. Well, it's Nintendo. Ooh, sounds like something's happening. That's right, everybody. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wario Land 2 for the Game Boy Color with me, OX Foo. And... Well, let's ju just jump right into it, because I absolutely love this game. Well, I love every game I Let's Play, but... Here is... The beginnings of a story with Wario Manor. Being invaded by... Captain Syrup's troops. Hee hee hee. And of course, the one stereotypically clumsy soldier at the end of the line. I love that guy, though. He gets all he 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 gets all the bad breaks too, because we're going to be seeing a lot of those guys throughout the entirety of this let's play. Oh no! Not the money! Not the money! Anything but the money! Come on! It's it's Wario Land! Come, no! Don't, 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 Put it back, put it back. No, come on, no, 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 anything but the money. Take, take my wife, take my house, take my car, anything, anything but the money. Okay, you can take the faucet if you want. No, don't, don't, don't run the faucet, don't run the faucet, that's gonna waste money. It's gonna waste money, money is everything in Wario Land. Do you know how much it's gonna take to clean this up now? I guess you can leave us a clock, I, if you want. See, the story says that um, they left that clock to annoy us and slow us down, but I always thought they were just throwing Wario's clock somewhere else so that he'd take, it'd take longer for him to wake up. But anyway, here we go. First chapter, one noisy morning. Well, and story one, turn off the alarm clock. Now, first things first, we gotta get up. There's gonna be another time that we actually are not gonna get up right away. But, we'll come to that later. This is absolutely one of my favorite games that came out on the Game Boy Color, and unfortunately it doesn't receive much praise. So there's gonna be all sorts of, um... Oh, first of all, A to jump. Uh, B to charge, tackle, slam thing. And there's going to be all sorts of hidden rooms and stuff that you get coins. And unlike Mario games and other games that have coins in them, the coins are actually important in this case, and we'll get to that a little bit later. First things first, let's take care of that pirate goom. If that's what they're called. I think they're called pirate gooms. Usually I think they're called pirate goons, but... Oh yeah, and hold down while you're in the air to do a butt stomp and use the butt. Yeah, so we got our own little room right there. I mean, I don't see why why we would. We've got an entire manor to ourselves, but whatever, it's Wario's place. He can do whatever he wants. Alrighty, and... Alright, I'm just going to take out that guy now because... Hey, you know what? Let's go up here anyway. It's gonna be very non-linear, and it's mostly gonna be me just talking, because... I mean, really, once you've seen the first couple of Wario levels, you see, you've seen most of them. Most of them are gonna follow the same sort of formula, with busting through walls and doing stuff. It's only about around halfway through the game that we're actu I'm actually gonna start showing you guys anything new. Alright, um, here is actually something that I gotta show you guys right away. Um, and I can't, because I killed an enemy. Basically, these are enemy blocks, and we've got to jump on these guys once to knock them over, and then pick them up by just walking next to them. And then we can use A to throw them, and they'll knock out these blocks. Now, with throwing them, we can also just charge the shot, and either throw them forward, or throw them straight up. It'll get a lot more useful later on, trust me. <laughs> right now, it's just I'm just trying to show off the controls and whatnot. 
like I said, you're gonna want to jump on pretty much every enemy in order to uh, knock, actually knock them over so that you can pick them up. There's gonna be a few, ex well, there's quite a few exceptions, um, namely all the water enemies and a bunch of other enemies. Now this is another cool thing from this game. Um, there's no death in this game. <laughs> so you, we're gonna have tons of weird things like this. Um, now with these guys, you want to get squashed by the guys holding the weight, and then to get out of it, you either get hit by a water drop, or have one of these guys come and pull you up. Now, I'll show you on the way back, but you don't want to have them touch you while you're not into the in the pancake form. You get these, those are worth 50 coins, I believe. But anyway, if you let them grab you while you're not, you're gonna lose coins. And that's basically how you take damage. You don't lose life, you're not gonna die. There's absolutely no way to die in this game. They completely took it out. Because that's not the point of a Wario game. The point of a Wario game is to get money. And get lots of it. So, whenever you get hurt, you're gonna lose like five or six coins. Which isn't that big of a deal, but it adds up. Especially because we're getting close to where I can show you what we need the coins for. First, sneak up right here. Mm, for the first few levels, it's going to be pretty easy to see where the, these breakable walls are. Actually, it doesn't get very hard, but there's going to be secrets later on that are going to be harder to find. Actually, we've already passed one secret in the very beginning of this game, which is quite hard to find, unless you're doing something else. We'll get to that later. Alright, so here is how we get... Each level has a treasure and a piece of treasure map. Um, this first one... Well, this is, the, this is how you get the treasure. You have to basically do a matching game. And we're gonna play it, of course. Now you've got three difficulties. Hard, normal, and easy. The amount of coins you spend goes up with ha the... goes up with as the difficulty goes down, but you have longer to actually see what you're looking for. I'm gonna go normal, that's what I'm gonna probably doing, be doing for the mo most of the game unless I don't have enough coins. Alright, so we have a pirate goom for the first one, and let's see where he is. Alright, and he's right here. There are 71 levels in this, so <laughs> you get pretty used to this after a while. And we got our Spear and Magic Helmet. Ah, my Spear and Magic Helmet. I can't do an Elmer Fudd for, voice for the life of me, so you're just gonna have, have to pretend that I have a wonderful impersonation voice like someone else. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, these rat guys, I can't remember what they're called. They're, they're like... Mookas or something. Um, they won't hurt you, and you can't knock them over to use them as projectiles, but you can kill them. That's the other thing. For the most part, I mean, most enemies, when you kill them, will not give you anything. So if you want to just run by them, no reason not to. Um, there are a few enemies that will give you stuff, but for the most part, those are going to be actually story-related people. And, well, there's going to be, a, a, of course, there's going to be a few more exceptions, but we'll get to that later. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. One of the more useful things is that we're going to have to use later on is the enemy jump. Basically, you want to jump on an em enemy and see if I can do it. Nope. Basically, if you press A right as you're landing on an enemy, you'll go twice as high as your normal jump, which comes in handy later on, but for right now we don't need it. So no worries! Alright, so we meet our second real enemy, the punch. Basically this guy's gonna punch you, as you can see, so just stay out of his way. And oh, again just jump on him and he'll be incapacitated. He's uh, again a pretty simple enemy, so... Nothing to really worry about. These guys can get a little annoying later on because they have a weird range, but for the most part, nope. For the most part, they're not that bad. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. 
throw two enemies into each other and they'll die. It's a lot like uh, Mario Brothers 2. So, go ahead and play with that to your heart's content. Actually, there's going to be a few enemies where we're going to want to do that, just because it's easier to take them out that way. Alright, and you don't have to crouch, you don't have to press down to start crawling under things. Just move into the gap and the game will take it for, for, care of it for you. I can talk. Really, really, I can. Alright, so this is our first boss. The alarm, well, first boss, not really. This is actually a regular enemy, but he only shows up in this place, so... As you can see, he makes quite a racket, quite an annoying racket, in indeed. So what we're going to do is... Yeah, let's just take him out the normal way. And the game gives us a nice jingle for our efforts. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to do... Well, I'm going to do one level per, per episode. Um, this one was a bit of a long one because I had some explaining to do. But basically, this game has, I think, five different story paths, depending on what you do in some some of the, of the episodes. So, later on we'll be going back and doing those. So we'll be visiting all these levels again. Um, there's going to be a few... No, actually, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do one episode for each, for each stage. Because that'll make things funny. That'll make things funny. Alright, so now we've got the treasure, we've got 440 coins that stays in our wallet so that we can do these. Basically, this is... you pay 50 coins to flip a tile, and then when you think you can match it up, you pick from the bottom. Um, in the end, this will unlock a secret stage. So let's see, what do we have? Um, I'm thinking this is 8. Or nine. Well, let's check first. Alright, that doesn't help us. Or, or, okay, it's not zero. Um, actually, this could be four or nine right now. Alright, so it's nine. It's a little, it's a little difficult, but what are you gonna do? Alright, so that is our first treasure map puzzle. Out of the way. And, as you can see, we've got a lot to go. Alright, so that is the end of this first episode, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Beyond... Not Beyond Good and Evil. Let's play Warrior... I'm gonna have to get used to that. Let's play Warrior Land 2 with Mio X Fu. Take it easy, guys.